Marine Le Pen has perhaps never been as close to power, the latest polls indicate. The leader of France's far-right National Party still wants to curb immigration and ban Muslim headscarves in public places. But she's focused her campaign on the cost of living crisis. It's the number one issue for French voters ahead of the war in Ukraine, the environment and health. She is better than Macron in every aspect. Security, the future for the youth, purchasing power, everything. And she loves France, not only Europe. Many people who voted Macron last time will vote Le Pen now, because he did far from great, and what he proposes now is even worse than five years ago. Le Pen's team is worried about voter apathy. A low turnout in regional elections last June led to disappointing results for her party. Je vous conjure d'aller voter! I beg you to go and vote. There is no win unless you go and vote. To those who have given up on this citizen's gesture because of your anger, your disgust, disillusion or tiredness, I tell them I understand you. But right now, get back into your role of citizen. In the presidential election, you can't abstain. Take back control. Polls have long predicted a victory for incumbent President Emmanuel Macron. His team is worried about supporters being complacent. Macron beat Le Pen by a margin of 30% when they faced off in the presidential election five years ago. This has been a polished campaign back in 2017. Many voters felt that Marine Le Pen wasn't presidential. Her team has been working hard on her image and it seems to be paying off. The latest polls have the race between her and President Emmanuel Macron narrowing. Le Pen heads into Sunday's first round election with a predicted 22 to 24 percent share of the vote against Macron's 26 percent. And 39 percent of French people consider she has the stature of a president. That's up from 21% in 2017. Her team hope that suggests France is in for a real political shock. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Perpignan.